is our redeeming Father. Isaiah 63 and verse 16. Doubtless you are our Father. Though Abraham was ignorant of us and Israel does not acknowledge us. You, O oh Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer from everlasting is your name. You see, a very important aspect of God as our Father is that He is our Redeeming Father. That means He's a Father who redeems us. Unlike earthly parents who may give us an ultimatum and say, if you don't do this, that's the end of our relationship. That's the end of me taking care of you. But unlike that, our Heavenly Father is a redeeming Father, which means that when we sell ourselves away, and we get ourselves into a trap, we get ourselves in troubled situations, uh, when we uh, ruin our own lives by our own choices and mistakes, He still brings us out of those things. He brings us out of trouble. He brings us out of our traps. He brings us out of our predicaments. He brings us out of our difficult situations that we've got ourselves into. He redeems us. He gets us back to Himself. He gets us out and He gets us back. He's a Father who gives us another chance. He is a redeeming Heavenly Father. So no matter what mistakes we've made and therefore the consequences of those things, what we find ourselves in, no matter how bad those situations may be, there is nothing God cannot redeem us out of. There's nothing that God can, cannot bring us out of and take us into Himself. He's our redeeming Father. We can always turn to Him and say, Oh God, You are our Father, our Redeemer from everlasting. That's who You are. Bring me out of what I've put myself into. Bring my feet out of this net that I find myself trapped in. Bring me out of this predicament that, I've, that has taken a hold of me. Be my Redeemer, the one who brings me out of this. And He is our Redeeming Father. He will do that for us. He will not abandon us in our predicaments. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You that You are our Redeemer, our Father from everlasting, Lord. And God, I pray for those listening who might find themselves in situations that they need to be brought out of, and I pray you will bring them out of this. Because you are our Father who redeems us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.